Hi friends. So in this video, we are going to talk about the temperature entropy diagram and how the different regions are there in temperature entropy diagram along with the different lines and how to calculate enthalpy and entropy in temperature entropy diagram. So this is temperature entropy diagram. So you can see on y axis there is a temperature and specific entropy or simply entropy on the y x axis. There are three different regions. This one region on the left hand side of this dome is liquid region. Inside this region that is a liquid plus vapor. It is also known as wet region or we can call it as two phase region. And on the right side of this dome, this is nothing but superheated region. This line, uh, this point, topmost of this uh, dome, this point is known as critical point. And the line from this critical point up to the left hand side, this is nothing but saturated liquid line. And on the right hand side, this is nothing but saturated vapor line. Next, we will talk about how the different, different lines are there on temperature entropy diagram. Let me erase this. So, uh, the uh, temperature lines, uh, of course, these lines are constant uh, horizontal lines. And the entropy lines, the, these lines will be vertical lines. Now, pressure lines, these lines are like this. So, this is the pressure line for 10 megapascal. So uh, you can see in the inside the dome, uh, the pressure line, constant pressure line is horizontal line, lines are like this. The drainage fraction lines uh, inside the uh, inside the domes are like this. So th these are the drainage fraction lines. So here uh, near the liquid line, saturated liquid line, drainage fraction is very less, like x is equal to 0.1. And near the saturated vapor line, drainage fraction is x is equal to 0 0.9. Then the specific volume lines are like this. These dotted lines are indicated as specific volume lines. So we can see that a specific volume increases in this direction while the pressure increases in this direction. Now we discuss how to calculate enthalpy and entropy. Before that, we will see the formulas related with the enthalpy and en entropy in different regions. So we all know that enthalpy H is nothing but internal energy plus flow work. So if I differentiate this equation, then dH is equal to du plus PdV plus ED. Now we are calculating enthalpy at constant pressure line. So for the constant pressure line, uh, this is equal to the zero. So in other words, we can write dH is equal to du plus dW. P dV is nothing but work done. So this is nothing but dH is equal to dQ. Okay. So as per the first law of thermodynamics, we can say that dQ is equal to du plus dW. So this is applicable when the pressure is equal to constant. Okay, we know that uh, this heat we can write in terms of latent heat and in terms of sensible heat. So at constant pressure, the latent heat uh, in this uh, TS diagram we are writing as HFG, latent heat of vaporization, and sensible heat we are writing in terms of Cp into delta. So, we will apply this equation at different points. Let me consider the points. So, at this uh, pressure 10 mega Pascal, let us consider some saturation temperature that is nothing but a Ts. So, at a pressure of 10 mega Pascal, this is the saturation temperature, something Ts. So, this is nothing but enthalpy of the liquid at this saturation temperature. Let us consider that is nothing but HF. And this is nothing but enthalpy of saturated vapor at this temperature let us consider this as hg okay and the difference between these two points that is nothing but hfg let me consider another point this is point number one on this uh, constant pressure line okay we'll try to find out enthalpy at point number one that is h1 
then we'll apply this equation see this uh, we are applying this equation in this liquid region so in the liquid region we have to use uh, delta h is nothing but dq which is nothing but cq into delta t okay so if i apply this equation then hf minus h1 is equal to cp into t saturation minus t1 t1 is nothing but temperature at point number 1 so if i rearrange this equation uh, one more thing uh, this is a cp of liquid okay since we are applying this equation in liquid region so that's why we have to use cp of liquid so if i rearrange this equation then h1 is equal to hf minus cp of liquid into ts minus t1 this is related with the enthalpy at point number 1 now try to find out entropy at point number 1 we know that a change in entropy that is ds is equal to dq divided by t okay so in the liquid region we can write this dq as cp of liquid into dt this is divided by t so if i integrate this then sf minus s1 this is is equal to cp of liquid ln or log to the base e into saturation temperature upon temperature at point number 1 or in other words we can write this as s1 is equal to sf1 or sf minus cp of liquid ln ts upon t1 okay so by using this formula we can find out entropy at a point number 1 which is in liquid region now let us consider another point that is uh, hx or another point x and we try to find out enthalpy at this point now again if i apply this equation dh is equal to dq and if i integrate this then hx minus hf is equal to x into hf okay or in other words we can write hx is equal to hf minus x into hf or we can write this hfg as sorry this is minus x into hg minus hf so by using this we can find out enthalpy at any point inside the dome just we need the dryness fraction at that point so x is nothing but dryness fraction at that point okay then the entropy so again for the entropy also we can write the same thing so sx is nothing but sf minus x into sg minus sf okay so this is related with the point inside the door. Now let us consider another point, point number 2 at the outside the door. And let me find out enthalpy at this point number 2 and uh, entropy also at point number 2. Now this is again in a superheated region. So again see the superheated region there is a sensible heat. So again we have to use uh, the, the formula for the sensible heat. So H2 minus Hg, this is equal to Cp of vapor into delta T, that is nothing but T2 minus Ts. Okay. Or we, we can write this as S2 is equal to Hg sorry, plus Cp of vapor into T2 minus Ts. So in the similar way, we can find out uh, entropy at point number 2. So entropy at point number 2, uh, S2 is equal to Sg plus Cpv ln of T2 divided by Ts. So I hope uh, you got uh, how to find out the entropies at different po points. Let me conclude this uh, session. So by using these formulas, you can find out enthalpy at different regions.
so in the liquid region this is the formula enthalp for the formula uh, for the enthalpy and this is for the entropy in the wet region or in the two phase region or inside the dome to find out the enthalpy this is the formula and to find the ent entropy this is the formula and in the vapor region to find out the enthalpy this is the formula to find out the entropy this is the formula and this is a typical view of a temperature entropy diagram and uh, in this diagram you can see the enthalpy lines also so enthalpy lines are curved lines these red color lines are nothing but enthalpy lines so i hope uh, you have got idea related with that temperature entropy diagram thank you very much